So it is the day before I leave on vacation with my family, and I've got stuff to do. So I use one of these sheets, but it's blank. So how do I make sure I get what I need and want to get done as well as what everybody else is demanding of me between the start of the day and the end of the day? Let me show you. This is what I would call my starting six or my six for the day. I put only six things on this card despite the fact there's room for more. And let me tell you why. Now make no mistake, I'm not suggesting that you only do six things per day, because that just isn't a realistic thing to try to achieve. You will do more than six things per day, either consciously or unconsciously. But what I'm saying is, is that if you have a way to illuminate the six things that you need and want to do every day, then you won't find yourself eliminating them when the end of the day arrives and you just don't have time or energy or both to get them done. This, <clears throat> this really doesn't have to be hard. You can go from a blank sheet to six pretty quickly. Um, and the thing is, those six things stand out amongst all your emails and the tasks you have in your digital task app and everything else on your plate. Seriously, having a starting six or a six for the day is a really good call. I do it every day. You might want to say, hey, you know what, Mike? I have too many external demands. I need to have maybe six for the week that I intend to do. And I got a way to help you pay attention to either six per day, six per week, or even six per month, or six per project. It's a pretty versatile PDF. Well, let me show it to you. Now, this is the starting six. I have it available for you to download. You just have to click on the link in the description and you can make it happen. There's a fillable version and then there's a non-fillable version if you want to print it out. But the starting six, you could use that daily. You could use it weekly. You just need to say, hey, here is what I've decided I'm going to do, and then here's when I got it done. Take this bit by bit, step by step. This is going to be a new kind of thing for you to maybe adopt, maybe not, but I think it might be. And if it is, then I want you to give your attention to the starting six. And then maybe you can get to the point where, you know, you are choosing six of your intentions every single day that you're going to make sure you give attention to, so that way you can spend more of your days being productive instead of trying to check off every box, missing your own, and that's basically a form of doing productive. I'll probably share a bit more about this concept of doing productive versus being productive in a future video, and when I do, you'll know where to find it. So that's it. I think I'm ready to go on vacation. This is one of the last things I had to do. I, I really needed to film this YouTube video. I needed to edit this YouTube video and I need to schedule it. Three of the six done. It's time for me to start packing. It's time for you to start choosing and then doing and then being. See you later.